Okay, during this, uh, the lessons for this week, we're going to learn about what are called base numbers. Now, what you first need to understand about base numbers is the normal base that we use is base 10. Okay, base 10 is what we normally count in, and that, that is because there are 10 digits. You know, so when we start counting, zero represents no things. One, two, three. This is what, it's very easy for us and very common for us to use this notation. After we get to nine, instead of having another digit, you know, maybe, um, let's say, our representing 10, we could say A. A lot, of, a lot of people use A to represent 10 as a digit. Well, we don't do that because we don't, we're working in base 10. Base 10 says the next number after nine is the digit one plus zero, where this one represents how many tens are there and then you just keep going and you go all the way up till you get to 19 and then you rep write a 20 down because that represents two tens so 20 represents two groups of 10 then you keep going all the way until you get to 99 that means nine tens and nine ones that's 99 to get to 100 that means zero ones zero tens but one hundred Okay, so one, the one in 100 represents actually 100 things. If we go to base 9, what makes base 9 different is instead of using 10 digits, we now use 9 digits. And what's that, what that means is we no longer have a need for the digit 9. And so our next term after 8, we just act like 9 doesn't exist, and we go straight to what we call 10. And so now that's what's hard is understanding that 10 represents actually nine things because 10 means this is how many nines you have and then how many ones you have. And so you keep going. That means 11 actually represents um, the base 10, 10 because it's nine things plus one thing. And you keep going up. You stop at 18, right? You got one nine and then eight ones. And you go to the next one, which would be 20. This represents two nines or 18. And you go all the way up and the highest two digit number you end up with is 88. Eight nines and eight ones. So when you move to 100, the next thing, that represents 81 things, right? The one is nine squared, 81 things. You got, you group your nine nines together and make it 81. Then you have zero nines and, and, and zero ones. The next term, 101, represents 80, 181 and 1, 1. So there's actually 82 things if we're talking base 10, which is what's confusing about this is that they represent different things. So if I said something like 232, that would be 281s, 39s, and 2, 1s. That's how, you'd, that's how you'd represent and you use base 10. Um, eight, base 8 is the same thing, except now you stop at 7 because we only use 7 digits. Right, then, or eight digits, I mean, after the seven, we go to 10, and this represents one eight and zero ones. You keep going, 20 represents two eights, which would be 16 in base 10. 21 would be two eights plus one one, so it would be 17 in base 10. Um, if you keep going all the way, the highest base two, eight number you can get is 77, seven eights and seven ones. The next term would be 100 where the one represents a 64. And you keep, keep going in the process. And so um, the base two is the last one we look at. And base two is important because it actually has a specific name and that specific name is binary. Binary by mean two. And that only has two digits. And the two digits are zero and one. So after zero and one, we go to one zero. This actually represents two. The only other two-digit number is 1, 1, right? That represents 3. Once I get to 4, we represent that by 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0 represents 4 because this now is 2 squared. Because we don't use any digit besides 0 and 1, so we've got to keep, we gotta keep um, consolidating our, our things together. The next one after this would be 0, 0, 1. That, that would represent one extra zero there. Zero, 1, 0, 1. That would represent 5. One four zero twos one one right one four there zero twos one one the next would be one one zero right one four one two zero uh, ones and then the last one would be one 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 
right? If you think about this, this would represent five, six, seven, um, actually do that wrong, four, five, six, and seven. And so the next thing would be to throw eights in there, and so that would create a four-digit number. So in binary, one, zero, zero, zero represents what we know as eight. Okay, so now we've got some problems that we're going to do with this after we've got a decent understanding of base numbers. Uh, the first is to look at this. If you look at this, we have the same number of circles, but we represent it with two different numbers. In base 10, we've got a group of 10 things and a group of 8 things. Notice I, I'm grouping in, in however many, whatever the base is to start with. Right? And so that's going to give me one of those and eight of those, and so that represents what we know as 18. Very easy. But in base 8, we could we call it something else because we've got a group in groups of 8. So how many groups of 8 do I have? I've got one group of 8, two groups of 8, which would give me two instead of one as our uh, that second digit, first digit. Then how many do I have left over? It would be two. So when you are converting things um, to uh, from a counting to a, the actual number, you got to think about how many groups of that base do I have. So in this case, I had one group of eight, ten. In this great case, I had two groups of eight. Another another type of problem like this um, in base ten. This would represent fifteen. Right, you got one group of 10 and then five left over. In base two, how many groups of two do I have? Well, I actually need to think even, group them even better. This is how many groups of two, groups of four, and groups of eight. And so this would actually represent one, 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 one. So 15 in base 10 is represented by one, 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 one. And so what you have to think about is the powers of the base. This is two to the third. This is two squared. This is 2 to the first. This is 2 to the 0. 2 to the 0 is just 1. So I need each one of those to, to arrange those all together using just bases. Because I couldn't put another, um, another if, I couldn't, if, it, if this is my 2 to the first, I couldn't do another here because that would give me 2 here. And in base 2, we talked about how you can only use digits 0 and 1. And so we have to group them then into 4s into and then into 8s. So 1, 1, 1, 1 in base 2 is the same, represents the same number of things as 1, 5 in base 10. So an example says convert 75 base 8 to base 10. Well, to do this, we think about it like this. How many things does this represent? Well, this is, the first number always represents 1s, right? 8 to the 0 is 1. So you got 5 1s. The second always represents the base to the first. So how many 8s do I have? Well, I've got 7 of them, so that would be 56. So 75 base 8 is the same as 56 plus 5, which would be 61, or 61 base 10. Uh, 314 uh, base 6, to ba if you want to convert it to base 10, same thing, except this time we've got three different things. We've got 6 to the 0, 6 to the first, and 6 to the second. We got four, six to zero is just one. We got four of those. We've got one six, and then we got three. Well, what are these? These are 36. So three times 36 is 96. Um, one six is six, and four ones is four. And so it turns out to be 106. So 314 base six is the same as 106 base 10, or we can just call it 106 because we, uh, because of the way we do our number system, we just always assume that when you're talking about, uh, if you don't write a base number there, that you're talking about base 10. And so that's how you go through and convert it. You just, no matter how many numbers you are, if you'd have had a two, uh, 5 right here, then you would have done a 6 to the 3rd, and that would have been 5 to 6 to the 3rds thir that you'd added on there. And you just do that same process over and over again until you can.